I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is uh, February 2nd, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to uh, connect your Gmail account with Alfresco Community 5.2 so that when you invite people to sites and things like that, it'll actually email it out, the invites out to them through your Gmail account. Okay, first a page with all the email type settings you can put in your Alfresco Global Properties file. Uh, so here's a link, and I'll put this in the show notes, but here's the website you can go to to check out uh, some of the configuration properties you can set. And so here you can go into some more detail. I'm not going to go into all these by any means. I'm just going to kind of get it set up to talk to Gmail. Uh, but if you actually go down here, there are some examples on how to do it, set up to, set up to Gmail or Zimbra, and I guess there's a few other things you can set up, connect it to easily. But we're going to do Gmail. So with that, let me log into my Alfresco server. So here's my Alfresco server. And I happen to have Alfresco set up in a unique location. That's just the way I did it. Uh, but I did, I did use the binary installer, so it's got everything in there, the Tomcat, the Postgres, everything on one server. Uh, but you basically need to get into your Tomcat folder. And in here, there should be a shared folder. And, well, let's just say, go to your base Tomcat and do a sudo by shared classes Alfresco dash global properties. That's the file you want to edit. Open that guy up. And you can look around here and figure out uh, if you have those settings in there, you might want to tweak them. I know they're not in here, so I'm just going to go down to the bottom and put some stuff in. So the first thing you want to set up is, for my purposes, is the notification email site invite. Uh, which I don't think was in 4.2. If it was, it was automatically set to true. I don't know. But here we want to set this up so that when we invite someone to a site, it actually will send an email out. Uh, next thing I want to do, and I'll do a big cut and paste here, is set up for um, Google. And so this is just the generic Google stuff. So you have to put in the mail.host, smtp.gmail.com, port 465, uh, for .protocols, smtp, and then put in whatever your Gmail account is. Uh, and then also you have to put in your password. Uh, here I got a 30-second like timeout, which is pretty long. Um, then ttos.enabled true and smtp auth true. So you need to put all that in there. Now, of course, this with example.com is not going to work. So I'm going to save this off. And then I'm going to come back in here and not video it. Because I'm going to actually put my actual email address in there and my actual password. And save it. And I don't need to show you guys that, right? So I'm just going to save it, but then I'm actually going to kill the video here. And like I said, go back in there and put my actual information in. Okay. So I have that set up correctly with my correct information. So now I can uh, restart Alfresco and be, you really just need to restart Tomcat. But in this case, I installed Alf the Alfresco binary package. So I don't have my nice uh, Tomcat tool. Uh, so I could do it. Uh, so, uh, Alfresco, pseudo Alfresco, pseudo service Alfresco. Uh, restart it should work or you could do stop and then do a start uh, but I've had some issues with this recently where it's hiccuping a little bit it wasn't quite coming back and so since it's just a test server anyway and everything's in there I just do a reboot so I'm gonna do a reboot and then when it comes back uh, we'll log into the site and test it out okay now to test this out make sure it's all working correctly I am going to create a new user and a new site and then add that person to the site and they should get an email. So here I am logged in as an admin. I'm going to go to my admin tools and I'm going to add a user. So I'll go down here, click on users and we'll make a new user. I'll just call him test test. But this time I'll actually give them a real email that I have control of so that I know that they're going to get uh, the email. And I don't need to add this person to any groups yet. And I will create the user. Oh, username already exists. Okay. Test, test the user. Okay, so this user exists, and I can go to my users, and I can do a search there. 
And there is test, test. Okay, so it exists. Uh, now, I'm going to go make an Alfresco share site. I'll go to sites and create a site, in case you don't have one. Call it test site. And make it private. Oh, what do you use? I guess I did it for test site two. Okay, do test site two. And I'll create it. it Says being created. Now, the fact when you create a new user in Alfresco Share, I don't think they get an email. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't. But they do get an email notifying them when they're invited to a site. So I have this site now, and I can well, actually when I create the site, it should log me into it. So here we are, test site two. Uh, if not, I can go down to sites and go to recent sites or find sites. Uh, but anyway, I'm logged in. Now I need to add a user. And so I can click on this icon here to add a user. And they have to be a user that exists. So I can do a search for test. And there it is, test, test. I'll select that person. And you can see there's an email right there. And then you have to give them a role. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Alfresco Share, uh, you need to probably look up what roles mean, and I'll put a link in the show notes, but here is a URL that shows the roles. And so there's a manager, which is kind of like the admin, uh, collaborators, contributors, and consumers, and they kind of go down in permission as they go down. Uh, so I'm going to make this person a collaborator, uh, but if you want more details, just read about it. So back here, I will make them a collaborator, and I will add them. And there they've been added. So now that they've been added, it should take a few moments, but they should get an email. So I'm going to go bring those up to show you what the end results are. Okay, so that worked successfully. So two ways to test is one, go into your Gmail account, uh, go into your sent mail folder, and you should see that it's been sent. In this case, I can see that the, it did get sent. And then I'll go to where it should have been sent. I already opened it up. And you should have something like this. You know, this is a generic out of the box. So this is just generic invite. And it will give a link to the site. And so now uh, that user, hopefully he's already aware that he's in the system, already aware that he has a, a password and all that good stuff. And he's able to click on that. And well, in this case, mine's an odd site because it is a local site on a local IP address. But yeah, there we go. Opens up. Opens up. Now I'm still logged in as my own admin, so I actually logged in by default, but they would actually be presented with login information and, and go on from here. So that is it. So pretty quick, pretty easy to set it up um, so that you can use your Gmail account, which is nice for testing, also nice for you know small businesses. Uh, but this is not, you know, you're not gonna want to use your you're not going to want to use your Gmail account for any kind of large corporate thing because uh, Gmail accounts are set to only there, there's a limit i think it's a, i think if you have a paid gmail account they're limited to a thousand or two thousand emails out a day something like that so uh definitely not something you want to do for set up your main system but um but the settings gonna be very similar to connect it to your own smtp server so it gives you a little bit of a leg up watching this video um or if you have a small company this is probably fine enough you know a couple hundred emails out a day through um depending on how you're going to use Alfresco. Uh, but if you're only going to end up sending a few hundred emails in a day, then it's not a problem. So, But anyway, that's it. That's how you set up Alfresco 5.2 Community Edition to use your Gmail account. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.